When Diane Armenta looked into her 36th Street backyard on January 22nd, she was surprised to see a large pond. Water that's supposed to flow downhill toward Choyas Creek couldn't. Fences and walls were holding it back. She says some obstructions were put up by a homeless man. And with this baggage that he put up here, it stops the flow. Of, you could see all the leaves down there. Pretty soon they're going to be on top of where the, the gate is. And then the next property over, there's a retaining wall that holds back the water. And there's a small little hole there that should let the water go through, but it doesn't. Armenta feels like the city should be clearing out the obstructions and making sure the area drains properly. You know, I shouldn't have to live this way. And I feel they're, dub they're double dipping because they get money from my taxes for this easement and they don't maintain it. Here, I have to pay somebody to come in and take care of it. But I'm not sure they could have anticipated what was coming here. And I think the residents knew it because they've been suffering from chronic flooding for years. Leslie Reynolds works with Groundwork San Diego Choyas, an agency that's long advocated for improving the natural environment in the working class neighborhood. So that we can start to advance solutions that are not just uh, gray infrastructure culverts and uh, pipes. We need green infrastructure solutions. Why? This is not a drainage system. This is the Choyas Creek watershed ecosystem. Reynolds says city officials have reached out and are interested in more community voices on a climate resiliency working group. I think if any awareness, anything positive comes out of this is just people's awareness of how important it is for us to invest in infrastructure that they often don't see and they don't realize it's there until it fails. City officials say there are 200 channels that need attention in the city and they only have the funding and people to clean up for a year. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.